Hi angels, so this is your general reading for the week of the 19th to 25th of December. We're starting off with Capricorn. This is such lovely energy. We've got the Four of Swords, the Nine of Cups and we have the King of Wands. There is something in your spirit that just feels amazing. It's like there's no fear. There's no fear. There's no fear going into the new year. There's no fear of stuff that's been left undone or left unsaid. And it's kind of like this whole energy of you um, going through or finishing a process of reinventing yourself. And for some of you, this could have been going on for a really long time. And it's just like, do you know what? I don't need to be perfect. I don't need to be completely like pristine and completely organized and have everything down to a T. Yeah, that's how I usually like things to go, but it's okay if there are certain parts of me that are coming undone. There's this sense of like embracing your vulnerability and potentially embracing a little bit of anger or frustration as well that is seeing you push through any boundaries and any self-limiting beliefs. It's like you wasn't maybe yourself for a little bit, maybe you had to lay low, maybe you were being a bit quiet for some time because you had stuff to sort out and now this is like coming back with a bang. Some of you could be going after a romantic endeavour, a romantic offer and it's kind of like taking your power back or for others of you this could be in relation to a creative project or even your career but it's seizing opportunities. Aquarius for you guys this week I'm hearing can you feel the love tonight um there's an energy of manifesting love some of you could be feeling a little bit lonely and a little bit melancholy in that energy especially coming up to the holidays they're not always a happy time for everyone and you could be kind of reminiscing on times that have passed or things that have happened it doesn't necessarily have to be sad or depressing it, they can be nostalgic they can be happy memories as well but they kind of put you in your feels a little bit um, we've got the Knight of Cups, the Three of Wands and also the Two of Pentacles. So there's an energy of contemplation, there's an energy of slowing down, needing to slow down because maybe you've been, I'm hearing something about acceleration, maybe there's been a lot going on in a very short space of time and with this Knight of Cups here it's almost like I need to take a breather to gather my thoughts. Um, there's been so much that's happened this year. You're thinking about all of your ac accomplishments, but maybe all of the things that you deem as a loss as well. But what you have to remember is that a loss is never really a loss. It's always an opportunity to learn. So what have you been taught this year? Um, be really careful of closing your energy off. Um, remain open. There's things that are coming in that you're not seeing yet that are really beautiful, especially when it comes to love or things that you love coming around pisces there is such a fun energy for you like i've just been looking at these cards absolutely cracking up we've got the um page of pentacles the four of pentacles and we have the empress in reverse there's something here about you just not giving a shit about what people think like any expectations that are being placed at uh, placed upon you or you're being expected to follow this is like this is the really fun side of pisces that i feel a lot of people underestimate you for and it's like your ability to have fun your ability to let loose your your ability to make other people laugh and that's what i'm getting this week it's like you're not afraid to in a loving way i want to say you're not afraid to make a fool of yourself but you don't look like a fool like the energy is just so magnetic and so charming and so wonderful and i feel like this in a way comes from a space of being really down and really unhappy for a while and you're just having this breaking point where you're like do you know what fuck this i'm sick of being sad i'm sick of being stressed out i'm just gonna be me i'm gonna do the things that i enjoy i'm gonna love on the people that i love i'm gonna let the people adore that i adore know how much i adore them and i'm not gonna worry about anyone who's hating on me or anyone who's trying to bring me down i just literally heard living your best life so love that for you hey aries so we have the five of swords the king of pentacles and the ace of pentacles some of you could be really stressed about a situation that's approaching there does seem to be some kind of like i feel like there's anxiety rising but you're doing a really really great job of hiding it at the bottom of the deck we have also got the king of swords so you could be anticipating some kind of tension whether this is to do with the holidays or spending time with people that you may not 
necessarily feel the most comfortable with. I am hearing for someone this could be to do with a mother-in-law or a father-in-law. Someone could be meeting someone's parents for the first times as well. Um, so yeah, there's some kind of anticipation. There's a bit of a heaviness on your chest where it's like, I hope I make, we're kind of teetering between, I really hope I make a good impression. And actually I really don't care if I do or don't. Like, and I just need to be me. I just need to be my true authentic self. And that's all you can be. So I feel like Spirit's um, message for you this week is like, don't be so fearful of what's to come because actually it looks really positive. I'm so sorry I got a parcel. Um, but yeah, I feel like something's gonna go really well. So actually you don't need to have this um this this fear. If anything, try to be really excited and just think positively and just know actually I'm a great person. If someone likes me, great. If they don't, well then I'm just not for them and that's fine. Hi Taurus, you've got some really fiery sexual energy going on this week. Um, we have the Six of Cups, the Page of Wands, and we have the Chariot. Some of you could be dealing with a Cancer, doesn't have to be. But um, there's there's this feeling of like someone from the past coming back, you know, like makeup sex or reconciling, but in a very passionate way. Um, someone may be approaching you for a hookup, which is fine. That's great if that's what you want. But for those of you that don't, I'm getting a divided energy here of like some of you want to indulge in this again and it will be enjoyable, it'll be fun, it'll make you feel good. For those of you that are not open to that and are looking for something more serious, consider just moving past this and maybe not reopening old wounds. But there is this sense of like whoever it is who's coming back around or whatever opportunity is coming back around, it brings some kind of closure for you. I am getting for some of you that if it's not a sexual opportunity it could just be an old friend an old colleague an old romantic interest it's almost like something that you thought you wanted for so long you were yearning for it you needed it it's like it comes back around and you're like i don't know what the fuss was about was i just infatuated because you've completed a soul lesson with someone so congratulations Hey Gemini, so you guys have the Five of Wands, the Eight of Wands, and we also have the Devil. There is an energy here of someone from your past or someone that you haven't spoken to for a while reaching out. And I do feel strongly that this could be a holiday message, someone letting you know that they're thinking of you. Could be a Capricorn, an Earth sign or a Fire sign. But I'm, I'm also getting Libra energy, even though we don't have any Libra cards here. But um, there's this sense of like, do I reply? Do I not reply? Do I say what I really want to say? Or do I hold back? There's, there's this feeling of like real contemplation when it comes to something that you are communicating to someone else. And there feels like this awkward tension, but I see you trying to take the high ground, okay? Um, something could literally have you in like a hot flush or I'm, i just keep hearing like someone feeling like they're melting so it could be the sound of someone's voice or the name of this person popping up on your phone or if someone shows up at your door it's like complete emotional overwhelm so i feel whoever this is there's still a lot of love and affection and admiration towards this person but maybe you know that the situation isn't the healthiest as it is right now um, there's something about you needing to take a step back to gather your thoughts. Just lo don't let it throw you off. Just go with your gut. That's always going to guide you in the right direction. Hi Cancer. So for you guys, we have the High Priestess, the Queen of Swords, and we have the Eight of Swords. Um, I was getting a channeled message about Slap and Tickle. Um, you may be spending Christmas with someone or spending a period of time during the holidays or around people generally that don't get your sense of humour. I feel like you're having to hold yourself back. It's kind of like, I need to make a good impression. I need to look good. I need to feel good. I need to be on top of my game. Some of you may have like a work Christmas party or something coming up. And I feel like Spirit is saying to you, be really careful of like showing your ass, like don't make a fool of yourself. Don't get too drunk. Don't do this, don't do that. And I feel like you're being a little bit too high strung i feel like i want to say to you just relax like just stop worrying um because i almost feel as though you're trying to sugarcoat yourself or sugarcoat who you are 
and you don't need to like you're so sweet anyway you're such a lovable person um someone could also be getting prepared to like i'm hearing bear all like bear all so bear <laughs> They're all of something to you, whether it is their emotions, their feelings. I am getting for some of you, there is a crush or someone that has feelings for you that is going to be making themselves known. You feel this person's energy coming in or you feel an important conversation looming and you're right, it's going to be there. Hi Leo, so you guys have the Four of Pentacles, the Four of Swords and we have the Four card. I'm getting an energy of nursing your wounds. Um, some of you could be spending Christmas alone or Christmas could be incredibly painful for you. You could be missing someone that's in spirit because I'm very much getting a spiritual energy around you. Lots of messages coming in, lots of signs, lots of synchronicities, especially in the shape of 444, which is obviously angelic protection. Um, there's a real beautiful sense of like feeling sad but also feeling so grateful for what you have and for grounding yourself in this moment and almost like putting your lovely positive spin on as much as you can um obviously with you being a leo your heart is huge it's extremely courageous it's extremely bold and brave so i do feel like you're shutting this side of yourself off and it's kind of just like you may not be reaching out for support or you may not be telling anyone about this. I'm getting some of you could even be taking yourself on vacation or just completely moving away from your usual space. Um, and I'm also getting an energy of like travel or going to see friends so that you're not alone. And this is really lovely. I feel like you're going to have a much happier and more restful, peaceful holiday than perhaps you were anticipating. Um, but yeah moving into 2023 as well your energy looks so gorgeous and so optimistic hi virgo you've got some big energy this week we have the nine of wands the hanged man and also the high priestess super strong spiritual energy i'm feeling as though kind of similar to leo's energy a little bit there's some sense of like really missing someone that's in spirit and really hanging on to emotions that make you feel really really happy i am getting for someone that this could be a parent or a parental figure there's a very strong sense of like someone who you loved and adored who is showing up for you maybe in your dreams or that you'll be thinking about on christmas day um but there's this sense of like i'm so grateful for the time that i had with that person because they made me so strong they made me so vibrant they lit up my life and i feel like you're being told of all of the ways that you remind other people of this individual so let's say for namesake if it's your grandma that's passed people are going to be talking about how similar you are to her um or how how proud of you she would have been and these are real lovely genuine thoughts genuine ideas for those of you that are very intuitive you could even have like spirit sightings of these people or this person that will be really profound and really special um i see a lot of support around you especially if this time of the year is normally particularly lonely for you there's a lot of people wanting to show you love wanting to uplift you wanting to show you appreciation Hi Libra, so I got a couple of channeled messages for you. I literally heard someone say, you can't see me, but I'm here. I don't know if this is someone in spirit or if this is like a spiritual connection. It's someone that you haven't spent time with for a while. It's someone that you haven't seen for a long time. Someone that has departed your life in some way, shape, shape or form. Okay, again, whether that's a passing, whether that is someone that you haven't seen for a long time. But... I'm getting that you're going to be really happy about a sign, a message, a phone call. Something is going to make you extremely happy, okay? For some of you, this is relating to love <clears throat> because we had the King of Cups at the bottom of the deck. We have the Ten of Cups, the Knight of Swords, and we have the Nine of Candles. I'm seeing someone here that's been watching you from afar, and I feel like there's someone that you make really happy and I don't feel like they've ever communicated the extent of their feelings for you. They may have been very persistent in getting uh, getting your attention or trying to get your attention, but something kept missing a mark. Someone's name could literally be Mark because that seems really specific. Um, but yeah, I feel like you've got a conversation coming in or a sign, a symbol, something that's going to make you know for sure it's going to solidify that person's feelings and intentions for you and i just see so much happy energy around you 
Hi Scorpio, so we've got the Eight of Pentacles, the Five of Wands and we have the Star. There's something very confusing that could be happening around you and it's like, I feel fine, I feel peaceful, I feel calm. The holidays could bring up some kind of um, discomfort for you, especially I'm getting someone with having like tummy aches or tummy pains, so be careful there. That could also be a knock-on effect of stress, of course. Um, but yeah, I'm getting that like there's something, I'm hearing there's something in the water. So there is like change that's afoot. You may feel very, I get this weird feeling of like quiet confidence and it's like something deep down feels like it's changing, feels like it's shifting, feels like it's moving, but I'm not seeing it yet. And this has been quite a common theme over the past couple of weeks, right? But I see you really deep in contemplation and letting go of things that cloud your mind, things that cloud your judgment, cloud your intuition. You've been really kind of working on your spiritual energy, but also your physical energies. Um, and, you know, in terms of finances, abundance, taking action towards the things that you want. And I feel as though as we're coming to the end of the year, you're looking back and thinking, I've done really well. I haven't really given myself the recognition that I deserve and I feel like the next couple of weeks are about that there's a sense of perseverance clearing confusion hey Sag so for you guys this week we have the knight of wands we have the ace of cups and we have the hanged man there's been this like little moment of stillness where things are hanging in the balance and you're thinking a lot about things that have been said things that have been done not just on a person side or a situation side but also how you relate to that situation and how you take accountability for a certain situation and for your own happiness. There is something that is about to be discovered. It could be for a conversation with someone else, but I do feel like whatever, whatever is transpiring here brings a positive result, brings happiness. There's some kind of expression of thoughts, feelings that lifts a bit of weight off of your shoulders. What I am getting here is when it comes to communication, there just needs to be love, okay? And I know that is easier said than done, especially if there's a lot of complex feelings or a very complex situation. And I'm not saying, oh, next time you hear from this person, tell them how much you love them. But I feel the energy of the holidays is very much about, this is what you mean to me. This is what I hope to achieve. And this is how I'm feeling. So you don't necessarily have to bear your whole soul because that's obviously you need to build trust to be able to do that but you're getting an opportunity to speak your truth so let's take it and let's run with it and let's see what could happen because you might be pleasantly surprised so that is what i have for you guys i wanted to wish you all a very merry christmas and thank you so much for another year of so much love and support i'm so grateful for all of you you cannot even know um, so yeah, Merry Christmas to you and yours. Lots of love. Bye.